you've probably already figured out this is not your usual canopy of light ceremony. We have video from previous canopy of light festivals in downtown Bloomington. And let's take a look at some of those. We would be remiss if we did not mention the Bloomington Brass Band and Al Olson, who's been with this event for years. These people give up their day after Thanksgiving to come down here and play before we get started with the actual ceremony, and then play some Christmas carols, and Santa Claus leads the kids in singing. Some of those kids have got kids of their own already. The county commissioners are now going to give us words of peace and hope. This has certainly been a strange, difficult, and sometimes scary year for many people. But I've been pleased to see the way people in our community have actively reached out to help those in need. Although the numbers are looking bad, it is likely that a vaccine will soon be available and better treatments are being discovered. There is hope on the horizon. A year ago, none of us could have predicted what our lives would look like today with face coverings, regular temperature checks, social distancing, and the like. Our local COVID numbers are better than other parts of Indiana, and that's because Monroe County residents have repeatedly shown that they care about others. So while this holiday season looks different, it's because we are incorporating COVID safety measures to protect our family and friends. We encourage you to take the time this holiday season to honor your resilience throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, connect with those you love, and cultivate hope and strength for the new year. Thank you to CFC Properties, Cassidy Electric, Indiana University, the City of Bloomington, and Downtown Bloomington, Inc. We wish you a safe, healthy, peaceful, happy holiday.
we've had some great times here. We've had every kind of weather you can imagine, from shirt sleeve weather to put on the heaviest coat to bring an umbrella. We've had it all. But through it all, it's been great fun for families and friends to get together and be part of the downtown Bloomington Canopy of Lights. But we do it because we want the, the center of the community to remain the center of the community. And look at the thousands of people here tonight celebrating. It gives people a reason to come downtown Bloomington. You know, they did this years ago and stopped. That was a tradition from back in the 1940s that we kind of brought back. Uh, so that was exciting. When downtown Bloomington um, was formed, Tom Gallagher was the director at that time. And uh, they had seen some old photographs. Bob Sullivan Sr. had of uh, the canopy uh, back when he was young. And so they wanted to bring it back and, and did. And so it's been going strong since 1984. Now you, Cassidy Electric, immediately said, we want to be involved. Sure, we've been involved every year. Why? Because Bloomington and Monroe County has been really, really good to me and my family, and it's our way of saying thank you. When I am on the stage and I look down and I see you there, you're just like one of those kids. You get as much thrill out of this as anybody in the crowd. Yes, I do. Cause, Why? Because it's my baby. We've, we've raised it since we started, since it started. It just makes you feel really, really good that you was able to have a hand in making it happen. It's just been a wonderful tradition for many, many years, and I certainly hope when I'm gone, somebody keeps it up. If you've been to more than one of the Canopy of Lights, you know there are actually two lighting ceremonies that happen here. One is this tree behind me, Indiana University Health Bloomington Hospital's hospice tree in honor of people who are fighting or who have fought the cancer battle for their lives heroically and they're remembered as part of the canopy of lights in downtown Bloomington. Because, well, he's coming, right? Do you right? hear that? And, and then well, he'll show up? 
Yeah, if you sing really, really loud. And he's going to come while we're singing? If we sing loud enough. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, this is a wonderful time of year. Bloomington is such a diverse, vibrant community, and all the employees and the leadership of Cook take great pride in the fact that we are so integrated and involved and committed in the Canopy of Lights. The beautiful thing about the Canopy of Lights is it brings uh, smiles to people's faces. And if there's any time that we need a smile is now. And this event that that we're having this year, although it be virtual, will continue to um, expand on and build on the foundation that we have for the Canopy of Lights and hopefully next year and years thereafter we see you coming back downtown again with you and your families and loved ones. And of course we have polka dot tonight with the Canopy of Lights lighting ceremony and Santa will be here in a little bit. Yes, it's different this year, but what we are asking now that you consider doing, we're avoiding crowds, it's a pandemic. But you can do this, you and your family can come to downtown Bloomington anytime between now and 
Valentine's Day, the lights will be on. Take a casual stroll around the square, look at the lights, look at downtown businesses, look at the people, look at the streets, look at what life is as people are going about doing the normal things that happen in Bloomington. And take a moment and enjoy this very special feature of downtown Bloomington. <laughs> Do you know how many people there are out here tonight? A lot. We want to thank each and every one of you for coming to downtown Bloomington for the lighting of the canopy of lights and the hospice Christmas trees. Santa Claus is going to move out now to have uh, his picture taken. To move smile, I'll places. take your picture. Polka Dot's going to take everybody's picture. Okay, everybody smile. And thank you and have a great holiday season we'll from see you downtown Christmas Bloomington. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Thank <laughs> you.